I hello hold on there it is um I was messing around with oops I was messing around with the um with my visual settings I think because there was um something Oh, I was rewatching the VOD from from yesterday, and um, the visual quality was bothering me, so I was like, "How can I fix this?" Um, and it it might be fixed. I don't know, but um, I think what it basically did is it made um everything bigger um or it made like it just generally made um the visuals bigger uh and then there i had to like adjust everything to size <laughs> so mm -mm. good morning haven hi <laughs> hello um Today's agenda was going to be Sekiro, as you might know, um, but I think instead I'm going to play a completely different game because I am still sleepy. <laughs> I honestly, I don't think I'm going to get that far. Um, if I try uh, Sekiro, because yesterday I did, I just wasn't doing. I did do pretty well, but I wasn't doing that well. Um, just yeah, I, I was fumbling. I was fumbling way too hard. I I don't want to embarrass myself again. Not today. <laughs> um, so maybe instead of doing like the same game twice a week i'll just do once a week at least for Sekiro. maybe for dead space i can do two times because it's a different kind of game especially in terms of difficulty um but at least i think i might have to limit Sekiro to like one once a week instead of twice a week Maybe just depending on how I'm feeling. Today I'm feeling sleepy. So. Not a Sekiro day. No. No, no, no. Mm. I forgot to do... I knew I was forgetting something. I... I, I forgot to, to, to tweet. That I'm live. Not a, not a good habit to have for getting the live tweet. Let me do that real quick. Um, but while I'm doing that, um, VOD watchers may or may not have noticed that we have music now. <laughs> Cause I kinda, um, I, I got into the mindset that some music is better than um, some, me, at least in my opinion, for me, some music is better than no music. Hmm, wait, it might be buffering. No, I guess it's okay now. That was worrying. Um, so now we have, um, some music added to the um the VOD track in the uh, recording track I think this one is called I have no idea <laughs> it's in Japanese so I, I I don't quite know what it says I'm, 
I'm, I don't know. I'm not gonna pretend like I know. Um, but it's by Poru Poru Mu. Well, Poru Poru is the person's name, and then the channel is called uh Poor Poor Music. Um, on YouTube, and I I put a link to the person's website in the the Twitch Twitch thingy. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This stream might be a little short since I'm late and also um, my bitrate is going down. Um, but also, I have to wake up early <laughs> tomorrow, so eh, it might not be that bad. It might not be that bad, but <clears throat> I'll try to end it at like 12 instead of at 1. Maybe I'll aim for, for 12 instead of 1. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Alright, let me let me finally go ahead and show you guys what game we're playing today. Uh, if I can find the thingy, I have to adjust. I didn't even... Man, I'm so scuffed today. Gaming... Game capture? You're on a mana. There we go. And I have to change uh, the size of it too. It's a Japanese. I know it's just a Japanese person. I think it's Japanese. Sorry, I'm messing around with my settings. Oh, uh, I have to plug in my controller too. Mm. Ooh, I knew I was forgetting something. Wait here for a second. Let me go get my wrist brace. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm back. Very scuffed today. Ooh, let me catch my breath, please. Ooh. Oh, I wasn't uh, tabbed into it. That makes sense. Oh, I thought it was inactive. For um, <laughs> so the reason why I chose to play near, um, even though I I've never talked about playing it, I don't think, um, is because it is basically one of my favorite games of all time. Um, and I never really thought to, um, I never really thought to, um, add in, like, the game into my schedule because, uh, you see this, this, um, this save right here? Uh, this is the save that I've gotten the farthest in. Um, I've gotten most of the main endings, which is A, B, C, D, and E. Um, I've got three out of five of them. So, like, it, it's kind of like Second Row and Dead Space, they're both, like, my first impression games. Or games that, I, like, you guys would be getting my first impression of. Um, but... This one, it's um, a, a game that I already know like a fair bit about. So, um, you know, it's it's not it's not the same, I guess. I wouldn't really be making any progress by playing it, but um, I think I wanted to sh I wanted to share it anyways. Um, also, <laughs> deciding not to, um, I'm deciding not to, like, start from the beginning, starting a completely new save, since, again, the point is kind of just to share a game that I enjoy playing with you all, um, rather than it being, like, a series type thing probably most likely in the future of like i'll probably have multiple videos where i am um or not multiple videos multiple streams where i am playing near and kind of just running around the environment and stuff um and kind of just talking about the parts that i like when you get um actually in my other save you can um you can what can you do? <laughs> um, I'm thinking you can, oh, you can basically go back and play all of, um, like play all of the chapters individually, but, um, I kind of wanted to start fresh. Um, so I started this save where I was playing, um, I I already did the like the tutorial not the tutorial but the introduction <laughs> which you would have think you would have thought that since I've already done it a few times already it would have been like easy peasy but it was my first time um playing near with a controller so the um it's I actually it feels like I have to get used to the controls again. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Cause I already I I was pretty good at near. I think if I if I were to look back at the other save, I um in those 78 hours of playing, I only had maybe 5 deaths maximum. But I'm pretty sure it was less than that.
It's <laughs> it's so satisfying to run around. Ooh. Very non-stressful game for me to be playing, I think. It's been so long since I've been in the bunker. Uh which one's B? I never get tired of looking at Earth. The hangar? You can get to it from the from the elevator to my left. Thank you. I will go visit it later. Ah, uh, it's too bad y'all missed the. Uh... In the um after the intro, um. 2B and 9S, they, um, they, they make you go through your settings. Uh, if I remember where they are, probably all of this stuff, um, yeah, they make you go through all of your settings, the ones that you can change, um, in game. And, um, one of my favorite little, like, I, I don't know, I just... One of the things that I really like about the game is that since they are, since you're playing as robots or as androids specifically, um, this whole menu thing and all of the um, interfaces, um, all of the UI, it's a part of the world building. Um, and it's like I, I like it for the same reason why I like um the Is this where I'm, oh I'm supposed to go in here. Oh please. Um I like it for the same reason I like the dead space vent muse. I just I just think it's cool. It's so cool when all of when everything is a part of the world building. Cause even though when even when it's not, it um like it never usually breaks the immersion or anything, but I think it's still cool when it when they take like that little extra step, you know. Hello there. You're starting to get quite the reputation. Oh, but don't worry, it's all good. The way you use your black boxes to blow up those Goliaths was so awesome. Um, but try not to actually die, okay? We'll take good care of your data, so make sure to upload it frequently. Okay. You. Looking for command? Just head down the hall to the left. The server administration room is on the right. Take care. See you around. Oh, 6 is one of my favorite characters, by the way. For no reason in particular, or no, there are reasons, but she's <laughs> she's one of my favorite. Even though she plays like a really small role. Who's 5 -0? Oh, that might be... Is this, uh... Hey, uh, have you been using your recovery items? Everyone in the R&D team is really proud of them. You can buy, you can even buy them from the terminal, eh, from the terminals in your quarters. Give them a try. Okay, oh, I've never talked to her before. I haven't done this much like exploring the bunker. I don't usually waste time in these games. Wait, two ten. I'm pretty sure this is Ninus's operator. I have I have never done this much like I've never wasted this much time in the game. Wow. Okay, what's up? Hello. I was just talking about all the plants and animals I saw on Earth. Operators are kind of nuts for data collection, you know. Hmm. It makes me kind of jealous of the combat troops. 
I'd love to go down there and collect the data myself, but they don't have a eh, they don't allow it. Hey, I'd take you if I could, but you know, I don't make the rules. Huh. Okay. I'm learning so much. This is literally new information to me, I kid you not. <laughs> Oh, she's sleeping. Oops. Okay, I think we went the full circle. Wow, I... I can't believe I've never, like, done that much exploring. Maybe it is a good thing. Like, I, I was kind of worried that it wasn't going to be a good idea to stream. Near Automata, because it wouldn't be, it might not be that interesting to watch. Like, aside from, like, I feel like that game kind of speaks for itself, you know? That's kind of what I, like, I wanted to show it off because it's, it's cool. This is a really cool game. It's so beautiful. But at the same time, um, from my experience in terms of, like, watching streams and what other people usually have to say about watching streams is people just come to they watch they come for the streamer so i i didn't know if i was going to be very interesting to watch over like literally anyone else that you could choose to to watch play this game but i'm uh maybe because there's so many like details that i just never thought to look at I didn't know that they put the Yorha thingy up there. You know, I actually want- oh. Oh, I'm sorry to be- I'm sorry. I wasn't looking up your skirt, I promise. I forget that she does that. Um, it's her and like this other character from Near Replicant, I think? Uh, they both have animations for like- if you're trying to look up their skirt, which I promise I wasn't trying to. I was looking at the Yorha logo. Everything's proceeding smoothly. There's no sign... There's no sign anyone's noticed any. What's your problem? Get on my face before I rearrange yours. Oh. I thought she was talking to me. What were you talking about? What's none of my business? Back off. This is none of your business. Yeah, just a minor annoyance. Nothing to get your undies in a twist over. Okay. Hey, didn't you hear me the first time? Make like a machine and get out of here. Okay. You didn't have to be rude about it. I think Operator 60 should be down here. Hi there. Boy, you two are thick, thick as thieves, aren't you? I know you're only working together by coincidence, but it's still nice that you've become friends. Are we even allowed to become friends? What? Your bodies all automatically register information from slain enemies to the database. It was a practical design decision to allow combat units to also collect intelligence. Are you checking your mail regularly? Sometimes important mails sit for weeks because the recipient doesn't know how to check them. So don't be that person. Check your mail regularly at the trans at a transport terminal, all right? I should check my email. Not the not the what's it called email or not not the in-game email. I don't I'm a person that does not check their emails very often. It's very shameful. How may I assist you? Please keep it brief. Want a piece of advice from someone who's been in your shoes before? Back up your data whenever you can. If you do that, it doesn't matter if you lose your body. You can just upload the backup data to a new body and be on your merry way. I love the sound design in this game. Like that music, it's just so... Are 
I, mean, I gotta be careful. I don't want her to think I'm being weird again. I got 1,000 gold. Do you need something? No? Alright then. Oh, it's 6 -0. Hey there, how's it going? Majestic trees, pretty flowers, cute little animals, I love it all. Aw, oh, she's, she's so cute. Like her voice, aw, oh, she's so cute. Tay, I've got a question for you. Are you using your pot effectively? Random, I know. But the thing is, you can install all these things called po pod programs that let you use special attacks. There are a bunch of different ones, so start tinkering to see which one works best for you. This is the bunker. Go ahead. Oh, this is the bunker. Go ahead. Say again? You lost your pod. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, I see. Well, a lost pod will emit a distress signal. So we'll try to locate it. Let's try to locate that and then search the surrounding area. Bunker out. And maybe don't lose it next time, honestly. I don't think that person is going to find their pod. Did you know you can install plug-in chips to improve your body's performance? If you want to install a bunch of chips, go talk to the S-Type model in the server administration room. S-Type model server administration. Okay, I'll try to remember that. Okay. I, s I wonder what was up with her. Are you okay? No, he's struggling. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There we go. Um, I probably need to talk to the commander. We're gonna shoot the breeze a little bit. Oh, look at these out. To be get to um get to outfit like these, but not exactly the same. I think she has um like she the um the body is the same, but they have like a helmet that they wear on top. Our commanding officer loves formalities. Me, I'd rather just get the orders over and... <laughs> I'd rather just get the orders over with and start the mission already. Fighting isn't really my thing, but they assigned me to combat duty anyway. I wonder if I can transfer to being an operator. I think you can. I thought it was a model thing. Like, if you were built for something, then you kind of have to do it. Just like our commanding officer, my dream is to, is to kill scores of machines and contribute to humanity's great victory. Obviously. Listen up, the future of the human race is in our hands. So, wait, now get out there and complete your missions. Okay, what's up with you over here? They're so obsessed with giving orders. They forget to provide details about the actual mission. I hope we're going to be okay. Still, I'll be managing things once everyone's on Earth. So at least I know that part will go smoothly. You know, I don't see a whole lot of Yorha soldiers out on the field now that I think about it. Just like they're just chilling in the bunker all day. Or maybe not chill in the bunker, because they're always doing work. I don't think they can be allowed to do anything except for work, but... The operators try hard to explain everything, but I'm still so confused. I just hope I don't get anyone get in anyone's way. So true.
Let me check some. Oops. No, I, I accidentally went. Oh, I thought 9S was one of them. I don't see any other 9S models. Or maybe they're not... 9S, but they're... This unit was only manufactured recently, so she's qu still quite nervous. That concludes your mission summary. As for the detailed breakdown, the first thing to remember is... Uh... Man, these operators are so fussy. I wish they'd just give me the data I need and let me do my thing. Like, um, I, I don't see... Because you see plenty of, like, B and A type models, I think. Let's see, we have two, two B. What's that? What's the other one's name? Uh... Um, I know she's an A-type model, I just don't know. I just don't know... What number she has. I don't know what her number is. Uh, I'm s uh, hold on, this is gonna bother me. Well, I guess we'll meet her if I- if I run through the- the... Quests quick enough. <laughs> I'll just- I'll have to see, I'll have to see. Don't worry, I can care take care of myself. I got plenty of recovery items. Ugh. That's those two. Only the commander can improve communications with the Council of Humanity. Your house soldiers aren't allowed to make individual contact. You were fantastic in that battle the other day. I'm looking forward to see what you do next. Hello, how goes the mission? If you need addition mission intel, you can find it on your HUD. Certain plug-in chips also help you out. Okay. Active combatant. I wonder what these maps are for. Uh, that top one looks like... I'm not looking! I wasn't looking. Stop. I don't care. Um, that looks like the, uh, the factory, <laughs> the factory that the introduction takes place in. I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Um, and then that second one must be the sort of main area. It's like the city that's been overgrown. The city ruins, I guess. Okay, let's talk to the commander now. Hey, commander. Ah, She's so pretty. Tubika, maintenance was over, no? Hi. Black box no bossu ni yoru teki senmetsu. Amari mucha o suru na yo. Hi. Maintenance ake de warui ga nimmu ga aru. Chijou ni iru resistance tachi to gouryu shi. Jouhou shushu o shite kure. Ora. Resistance to no renraku yaku ni wa betsu no yoru habu tain ga assign sarete i tanja. Senrin no tantou sha to wa renraku ga torete inai. Mm, I wonder what else um, that voice actor has been in. Because I think she kind of reminds me of Violet Evergarden. Evergarden. <laughs> Okay. I just wanted to let him talk. I, I'm doing it. Uh, this message is intending for the verification of your mail account. Members who encounter problems with the mailing system should contact their supervisors as soon as possible. Mm. 
Um, there's somebody that's somebody. Later, somebody recommended something to me. Oh, he is struggling. What did this terminal go to? What does this go to? Hmm. Oh. Oh. There is another. I didn't know that there was another one of these up here. Need any maintenance done? You've come to the right person. Uh, I don't think I need any. I cannot use chip. Okay. I kind of. Okay, there's um in in near in near replicant. I'm pretty sure there's one of the magic abilities that they have in the game. I don't remember what it's called, but it's very similar to Mirage. And they have another one that's that works pretty similar to Spear. And I don't think I need more storage yet. I think I have enough. I might get I kind of want to get Mirage. But the goal, the goal for this save for sure is to try to like max everything. I'm going to try to get everything during this run. Mm, I think I'm going to get the hammer even though it's one of the like i didn't talk about getting it my skills are first uh my skills are first class even for a scanner model you can count on me okay this is my first time meeting another scanner model this one i know i can't open it i gotta wait until i finish i get ending a Uh, let's go ahead and see if I can, I'm going to put it in the, all right, we got to get down there before I can check to see. I had no idea there are other scanner models in this game. Wow. What's up with you? Ugh, I don't feel so good. Her balance sensors got damaged, so she got so she got motion sickness. No matter how many times I repair the sensors, the problem comes back. It's almost like it's in her head or something. You guys take care of yourselves, so you don't end up with like her. All right. Oh. Okay. Hey there, are you going down the earth again? I'd give almost anything to spend more time in a flight unit. We'd all like that, but they're expensive. Delicate pieces- Oh, but they're expensive, delicate pieces of equipment. So they don't just hand them out willy-nilly. And you combat types are the worst. Last time you used a flight unit, it came back with huge scratches on the side. Who do you think fixes that, huh? We do. We work our figure our fingers to the bones just to get a beautiful ride. You go and crap all over it. Alright, alright. I get it. Sheesh. Sheesh indeed. Well, sounds like you know to stop being reckless with your stuff.
命令に文句を言わないはーい Nier is such a fun game. This is such a fun game. What? I pressed the wrong button. There we go. I'm not gonna lie, the microphone's kinda in my way. Oh, I don't even know which one I am. But I kind of always wondered why the um, white units were so small. But I didn't. I, I never like think about the fact that they are the size of the androids themselves, give or take. Oh, she doesn't have her big sword. Oh, there's a chest. I can't open it yet, though. I think I have to hack into it. Scene. Hmm. Mock your stay of Cockney. Mount Bunny Mark, Swissel. Mock your stay in Oido. Mini map. Do I have? I do. You know how earlier I was talking about um, how all of the menus and UI and stuff are actively a part of the world building? So one of the cool things, which I'm gonna say that everything is a cool thing about Nier um is that you can take out and remove almost all of the um like the stuff that shows up on your screen by removing the plugin chips that 2B has downloaded in her software. So now there's no minimap, no health bar. Um, if I go and try to defeat an enemy, then the number, the amount of damage that I'm doing to them 
it's not going to show up on screen because I just got rid of all that stuff. Um, and after I'll say, after I save, I want to show you how to get one of Nier's endings. Because there are so many. There is one for each letter of the alphabet. I'm pretty sure. Um, so I'm just going to uh, equip that one. I don't know if I have any extra ones. No. Oh, these are... I think if you have the game on easy mode, then... Um, basically, uh, the game will... You can basically get the game to like fight for you. Or to... You can basically just... Um, the game will... Uh, do all of the... Um, like combat for you. I think. Mm. Very peaceful. Oh, my bad. I forgot. I should probably save before I, um, like, just go around doing whatever. Uh... I can't- I can't even go over there. I might- I wonder if they'll give me access to this area later. been down here either i'm finding so many secrets i don't even have access i'm oh, sorry i'm i'm looking i'm looking looking for an exit I can't turn the camera around. <laughs> I'm not looking, I'm not looking. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, we're just gonna go out this window. I was able to get in here though. I think I can hear something. It might be above me. Melee damage up. What? I can't get out? Is there an enemy in here that I just can't see? Oops. Okay. There we go. Alright, uh, there was a set of stairs that I could have just gone down. But I got curious about the elevator. Are you hostile? I don't remember, um... Okay. They're hostile- not they're hostile, they're peaceful at first, so I won't attack them. Cause I don't deserve all that. Oh, I'll leave the exploring for after I save.
Actually, I wonder... Uh, there's something... I need to check. Do, do, do. How do I self-destruct? Short uh system menu. Oh okay. Let me check it. Okay. <laughs> just gonna make sure I know how to do it. You know, just in case, just in case. I don't think I have enough healing items to be doing all that though. Are you hostile? Mm, no. I'll leave them wrong. Oh, those ones are though. Man. She kicked the mess out of that one. All right. マップデータを入手システムメニュ上で表示可能マップデータですか衛星から取得できる解像度が荒くてあまり正確な形状が把握できないんですよね新しい衛星が配備されるといいんですけど大体分かればいい情報によるとこの付近の機械生命体は襲
if you fail it. Are these ones hostile? No. Huh. Maybe I'm just thinking, because I'm not used to them not being hostile. But, um, I'm just really used to, like, the later game stuff when, like, everything gets so much more intense. And then I think most of these machines, and maybe not all of them, become, um, more hostile. It's a machine. Cart machine obtained. This game is the reason why I like fishing video games. And even though the fishing isn't particularly um, interesting, <laughs> like it, it doesn't have um, like a little fishing mini game that you sort of get out of it. Like, uh, like imagine in Stardew Valley where you have to um, keep something in the green bar or something. Another machine. Um, I think for near, like I didn't know before, but I think now it's probably because of just the relaxing atmosphere. Like I don't get bored just sitting here. And listening to the music and hearing the sound of these machines walking around me. The waterfall over there too. Like I, I could just never I could never get bored with this. After this uh, next fish, I'll uh, I'll get up. None. It's so small. Oh, that one's a real one, though. Uh, let me see if I can change my settings again for something else. I don't. What is V six? I don't know if the game's gonna get mad at me if I stray too far from the objective or not. Ooh, actually, while I'm stalling, let's kill these guys. 
because I want you to also hear the change in music. <laughs> Which I remember the music changing if you get into a battle, but maybe not. No? Do I have to wait? Am I getting a little too eager? Oh, are there details about your bare fists? Bare, f bare android fists are passable weapons, but it can be difficult to land an effective blow with them. That's it. <laughs> bare fist run. Sounds very appealing to me. I might have to try it. Maybe. Uh, let me at the... Oh, I don't... Oh. Oh. Okay. Alright, let's just finally go in here. Resistance camp is so... It's so nostalgic for me. It feels very nostalgic to me hearing the music. から連絡が来てたからな。私の名前はアネモネ。この辺り一帯のアンドロイドレジスタンスを取りまとめている。バンカーから話は聞いている。このエリアの調査担当になったらしいな。情報は私よりも他の連中の方が詳しいだろう。
what this will do. Might test it to see if anything changes. Oops. anything changed okay uh over here animal bait i i never really used animal bait Welcome, welcome. It's always great to get new customers. Be some kind of supply trader for the resistance? You know it. Every item here is handcrafted from the abandoned parts and stuff plundered from enemy corpses. So then, to business. What can I get you? Uh, nothing. Actually, don't really need anything. This is why I never used, um, Animal bait. Because you don't really need it if you have the sachet. <laughs> like, you, you don't need animal bait if you have the sachet, so you can kind of just sell it, I think. But I never did. I was- I hung on to it. Um... We're not gonna buy any recoveries. Do you sell plug-in chips? You mean those little doodads that serve as power-ups for your body? Pray not. I'd love to sell plug-in chips, but I don't have the necessary raw materials. Now, if I happen to get those raw materials, I bet we could do business. But until then... Say... Now there is an idea. What if you got the materials for me? I got this bum leg, see? Can't get around myself. Can you, can't you just repair your own leg? You work in the supply trade, after all. If only. Unfortunately, all of our parts are dedicated to the war effort. Can't spare any for myself. Personally, I'm hoping you wipe out those machines so I can start dancing again. But until then, will you look for what I need? Yeah. Aw, oh, thanks a million. Okay, so I need one broken key, one small gear, and one broken circuit. You can smash up a few small machines to find them. You can obtain them from enemies at the big open area towards the left when you exit the camp. Alright. Subquest. Your subquest has been updated. You can check your progress on the quests tab in the system menu. Uh, and we're gonna go deal with that before we talk to anybody else. Just because. Um, access point. The world is filled with cleverly disguised access points, which can be used for the following. Unlocking map info. Unlocking save area. The white area on the map, which allows you to save your game in the system menu as long as you're close enough to the access point. If you find an access point... Ooh, my bad. Under attack by enemies, destroy them all to reactivate the terminal. Okay. ここは植物の侵食がかなり進んでいますが、当時はかなり大きな都市だったんでしょうね。
気分がいいのかなーなんて気分が良くても良くなくても、so、作戦には関係ない<笑>トゥービーさんらしいですねそれではまた It's so interesting how filled to the brim with emotions and feelings and whatever all of the androids are like not because they're androids but because um it's to the point where they have to like constantly remind themselves that feelings are um not allowed in their line of work or they're yeah i think in their line of work specifically not just like um Oh, I'm an android. I'm not allowed to feel emotions. It's that um, as an android, aren't you new? Oops. I missed. Um. But it's that what's interesting to me is that um that was a waste <laughs> i keep pressing it by accident i'm still on the sekiro like brain like i'm just using the buttons that i that like um sekiro would have you use yes. Um, but what I was saying is that Um, but what I was saying earlier was that, um, emotions are usually, like, it's usually brought up, emotions are prohibited. Whenever um, they seem to be thinking a little too hard about what it is that they have to be doing, uh, there's definitely going to be other points in time where it gets brought up. Let's see, other players' body. If you have the network features option turned on, you'll be able to see other players' dead bodies by examining these bodies and do the following. Retrieve your te ret uh, your temporarily grant gain three random effects based on the chips the player had equipped. Repair your the body will follow you around and you in combat. A woman without beliefs couldn't help but smile in a world of sand. Got some money, range defense, and ch charge attack and counter. I think we got some plug-in chips. No? I guess not. Are they just effects? I, I never really thought too hard about um what the other players' bodies had to offer. I kinda just picked them up without thinking about it. Something that always slightly entranced me a little bit was um, two bees, or both of them, their ability to get wet, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's always the small details that are going to amaze me. Um, always. It's always going to be the small details that I'm like, whoa those details and one of the things that amazed me in near is that their boots get wet when they walk in the water <laughs> and when i dash 
her dress gets wet too, but it's not all of her, you know? Like this isn't Breath of the Wild where um, being wet is like a mechanic. It's not Breath of the Wild or Genshin. It's Genshin that I'm thinking about. It's not Genshin where um, being wet is a mechanic in the game. Um, so like once you get wet, it's just, oh, now you're wet. It's just like a little detail that they didn't have to add in the game to show that her clothes or her body are affected by what you're doing. Oh. A bohemian soldier wasn't fast enough inside an empty ship. Money, shockwave, max HP up, reset, up, um, plus eight. Did I? Oh, wait, 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 wait. It tells me what I got. Um. So maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I, I never really understood it. I still don't understand it. This is the first time that I'm trying to. Alright, let's talk to him. Hey, found the materials. That's great. Now I can start upgrading and crafting items for you. I imagine you can spare a few of these supplies to figure to fix your leg. Yeah, no. Why don't you tell us what's really going on? See, it's my left leg, my left leg that's all busted up, and my left leg is the one that's fully original. I've repaired this old body of mine hundreds of times over during this war. I've swapped parts in and out so many times that I can't even keep track. This leg? This left leg? It's never been touched. So if I go around and replace that, what happened? I mean, would I even be me anymore? Or would I just... Anyway, it's my own problem. Didn't mean to trouble you with it. I should be getting more inventory soon, so swing by when you can. Alright. I'm gonna open your chest. No? I actually can't. I can. Thank you for the medium recovery. Greatly appreciate it. Definitely didn't steal it. Uh, we're gonna talk to this one over here first. Hey, you're with Yorha, right? Mm, my mask? It's an uh, electromagnetic wave shielding device. I wear it to limit unnecessary information from the world. Ha, huh, just kidding. So what do you want? Are you worried about something or whatever? Um... I can just ask her any question. I'm gonna- what if I feel motion sick? If you have any system related questions, ask maintenance. They handle everything from body maintenance to pot adjustments. Oh. Okay. You can change the game difficulty at any time on the system menu. In easy mode, enemies are weaker and you can use special auto chips. Equip them and LT will activate automatic attacks and evade. Normal mode is a standard level of difficulty. The enemy gets stronger in hard mode, but you can't use any and you can't use any lock on features. In very hard mode, not only is lock on disabled, but enemies are well they're kind of insane. It's almost stupid difficult, but more daring players seem to like it. And hey, just between you and me, if you go to intel and select tutorials you may find out some things you didn't know she really just says stop asking me questions so that's what i'll do i'll leave her alone mm, i know i can't do that oh what's that on his shoulder
All right, we're gonna talk to the weapons trader. And then I think we're gonna talk to everybody else in the resistance camp. Uh, except I wanna see who's over here. Um, shall we rest? All right. Oh, this is a your hot soldier. It's so relaxing to listen to music, don't you agree? I can tell you where a connoisseur just by looking at you. Here, have this. It's what people used to call a jukebox, a machine that plays music. You can play any song you like on it as long as you have the necessary records. It's all yours to use. Items to tame, sound data. Which song would you like to play? Uh, let's try both bipolar with both. so pretty I hope you don't mind me like flipping through it I'm just um okay I know fortress of lies that's the bunker city ruins rays of light that's the city ruins obviously peaceful sleep is the resistance camp I'm gonna test my memory more so than anything what's other which song would you like to play significant that's the main menu. Uh, so I guess it would be a bit battle. And bipolar nightmare is the only one in here. Oh, there are these other ones. Sound of the end. What does that sound like? Uh, medium? With vocals always. This is what I was looking for. I was trying to figure out which song played. Um, I was trying to figure out what song played um, during the um, the intro, because because y'all kind of missed it. I love the. I I love the music in this game so much. I love everything about this game. I love this game. Uh, I have all these old things. Is that a is that a VHS player? Um, so there's this dresser that's sitting right next to the uh, jukebox, and then right in front of it, there are two suitcases. And on top of that, I think that's. A VHS player? <laughs> um, I used to ha I Well, actually, I didn't have one. My grandma had one. Um, it, it was... Well, it wasn't a VHS player. It was like a TV with a built-in VHS player and like a DVD. So you could put either or in there. It had two separate slots for it, just like that one. Um... And I remember what we had for the VHS. I'm pretty sure we had... We had a few Disney movies. 
also the second Little Mermaid movie. I know for a fact we had that on VHS. Um, but that's the only movie I can remember. Man, it would be so fun to... I wish I still had one. <laughs> I kind of wish I still had a VHS player. Like, I still had access to one. Yeah, this is definitely the song that was playing in the introduction sequence. I think this is widespread, right? Widespread illness. Is that what it is? Mm. Alien manifestation. I don't think this one played, but it must have if it was given to me as an option. Mm, this is a... This is definitely something that plays in the factory for sure. Because you can kind of just feel that, um... Sort of... You know, mechanical hum to it. Yeah, this also played in the introduction. They wouldn't have given me the option if it didn't. This is definitely the, um, a good chunk of the, the factory and it fits for it so well. I just, I, uh, uh, I love it so much. Oh, I hope it's not too loud, though. It might be a little loud. Let me turn it down. Let me turn down the thingy a little bit. Just a smidgen. It's, it's definitely not louder than me, but I don't know if it's just loud in general. Right, now we're going back into peaceful sleep. What a whiplash. Oh, you must be with Yorha. I heard about what happened. I deal in weapons if you're interested in that type of thing. Obviously. What kind of weapons? Basically, I rebuild and repair relics from the old war. Oop. Although, to be honest, my tools are in pretty sad shape at the moment. But if I can get the servicing dis device in the toolbox up and running, I could start fixing and selling your weapons again. Take a look at it, will you? Uh, oh, I guess Nanias would know. That looks busted alright. You know it. And as I bet you can tell, I'm not oh good with that sort of delicate repair. You mean it? That'd be a huge help. Looks like the serving sing device shorted out. Must have put too much load on it. I'm thinking four complex gadgets will be enough to fix it. Any idea where I'd find complex gadgets? Folks say you can find them over in the city ruins. Although I hear the place is crawling with incredibly aggressive machines. Alright. Let's see if Nina's complains about doing chores again. City ruins. And I think I remember where, where it is just by memory. Um, yeah. 
No, I was about to put it on hard, but uh, I won't, I won't, I won't. Are you aggressive? The answer is no. Kia-san mm. on them too. Yeah, right there. I think the next... Mm -hmm. Oh, there are actually. Ooh. It's a lot easier to do those now that I'm, uh... Now that I'm using a controller instead of my keyboard. Uh... Item? Oh, they're actually technically not in this area. There should be some more hostels. I know there's no way that's it. There's one over here, but I know that's not for the thingy. Uh, let's try this one. Nope. Oh, there's one right there. Uh, that's three out of four. Excuse me. Sorry. I don't think I turned my head fast enough. There's one over here, but I think it's out of brain. Yep. Uh, it's the beginning of the game, so anything helps. A machine behind the tree. Wait, I saw a machine behind the tree in a tall tower. Uh, retrieve. Money. Max HP. Range attack. Melee defense. This gives effects. I don't understand what the effects are. Maybe it just enchan um, enhances your... Your chances of picking up items like that. Here it is. It was behind a bush. Okay. Uh, One of my favorite things to do in video games is uh, I like to I'd like to look at the like quick turn animation. And I'm always I don't know, I'm always mildly entertained by them. <laughs> always. Quickly turning in the opposite direction. Uh, 
whenever I play Animal Crossing, that's something I end up doing a lot. Just turning back and forth. Because I like to hear the little skirt noise <laughs> that they make. I think this should be enough to fix your broken device. Well, how do you like that? Looks like I'm back in business. Good to hear. You know it. I make these weapons to keep my friends safe after all. Although sometimes I wonder... What if my weapons are just making my friends die all the faster? Ah, uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Anyway, come back in a little while, alright? I should have some new gear for you then. Alright. Um, I think we're done. Hey, it's you. Oh, I almost forgot. I still owe you a reward. I wanted to say thanks for helping me get things up and running again, so I whipped up... I whipped you up some upgrade materials. Thank you. Want to try them out? Sure. Oh, let's see what he has. He's Beastbane, Ancient Overlord, and Beast Lord. Um, an aura, a sword with a strange and uncomfortable aura. I think all three of these swords. I think most of the swords in um. Near Automata are also in Near Replicant. I need to check. But I know Beastbane and Beast Lord are both in there. Uh, let's. Um. Which one is which? Is Beastbane about the youngest sister? Mm, and I think Beast Lord might be about the middle child. But in terms of weapons that I'd want to use, it's probably Beast Bane. Yes. Come to me whenever you need help with your weapons. Hey, so where do you get oh, these older uh, weapon models from? Oh, the lady who owns the place. Sends him over every once in a while. Her name's Accord. He's the proprietor of this here business. I just tend to the customers and keep all the, re the repair devices humming. I only see her every few years, to be honest. She mostly just uses delivery drones to drop things off. I don't know where she gets this stuff, but most of it's in pretty good condition. Say, if you ever happen to run into her, say hello. Say hello for me, alright? You can upgrade the weapons you buy here. How much can I upgrade your weapons depends on how much money and materials you have. Some upgraded weapons also add effects that improve performance. Give it a try if you like. Alright. Um, let's go into weapon set 2 and add Beastbane. Equip. Uh, and earlier I was talking about sisters or something and what I was in what that was in reference to was the weapon story one of the main reasons why I even try to collect as many of the weapons as I can is because they all have stories attached to them um, that you get more pieces of if you upgrade the weapons uh, in the previous playthrough I have um, I have Beast- I'm pretty sure I have um, Beast Bane, Beast Lord, and the Spear all upgraded to the max. Let's see, let's read this one. Once upon a time, there were three princesses. The middle princess wasn't very bright, but was a- was- was renowned by all as a great beauty. Once she came of age, she was married off to the king of a neighboring nation. Okay. So I, I think I do remember how this story goes. Um, but we can talk about that at a later date. 
virtuous contract. I never remember what this one is. How long can I fight amidst this bloody vortex of a battlefield? How long, I wonder. I wonder as well. I love the attack animations. Nier is such a fun game to buy. They just, it's so like, satisfying. You don't really, at least if you're playing on normal, it's not a game that really requires much skill, in my opinion. Um, probably because it's, this is definitely more of a um, power fantasy type game. Um, in a way that's unlike Souls games where you, you know, you get that feeling of accomplishment from finally conquering, um, your demons, um, after repeated attempts, but with Nier, it's definitely, like, it, it's definitely your average, um, like, combat, RPG type game. Not in a bad way. Like, that doesn't... That, that doesn't, um... Mm, make it, like, less than. Just because it, it provides a similar experience to one that you can get from, um... A lot of other games. Because it's just, it's execution of it is still, like, absolutely wonderful, in my opinion. Let me save. Wonderful execution, absolutely wonderful. Can I walk through here? I can. Oh, I always jump past it. I think when I try to get over here, I didn't know you could just walk through this door. They have guns in this game? I mean, yeah, but they have guns in this game? <laughs> oh yeah, that's not the Yor- I never realized that that's not the Yorha logo, like specifically. So I guess the resistance camp has their own logo. And that must be what this guy has on his shoulder. Something I asked about earlier. Hello, you're with Dorha, aren't you? This is the maintenance shop. I service and consult on all types of androids bodies. Can I help you with anything? Oh, uh, what's up? I don't think- you don't sell plug-in chips. You just sell... Uh... These. Let's go ahead and sell this animal bait, because I won't need it. Um... These are all important materials. Unless it says that it can be sold. Yeah, okay. Fish, always a good way to get money. Never anything to lose from fishing. Never. You can greatly increase your combat abilities with just a few tweaks here and there. If you obtain any new chips or programs, make sure to try them out. Okay. Um, and now I talk to Nemini. Anemone? Oh, wrong button. Oh, hey, I actually have a request from, for you as well. She's so pretty. I, ne I never realized it. She's actually so pretty. Hold on, chill. Anyways. There have been <laughs> lots of reports of dangerous machines appearing in the desert recently. This is very unusual, 
so it may be indicative of something bigger. Now I hear you, your hot types are pretty good at examining the, at things. You think you can look into this whole mess for me? Yeah. Thanks, I knew I could count on you. I'll tell our allies in the de in the desert that you're coming. Be careful out there, okay? Okay. Let's go over here, though. Can I go back here? No. Devola, Devola and Popola are back there. Oh, those are their names. Those two girls with, uh, like, pink hair. Wow. Um, I can't open this. I won't talk to these people yet. We'll talk to them some other time. Say, who are you? Um, up ahead is the material storage site. Sorry, but it's off limits. That's okay. I have my ways. I wonder if there's a weapon. I should know. I'm like, oh, I wonder if there's a weapon back there. Like, I should know there's a- I should know whether or not there's a weapon back there. Maybe. Hmm. No. I guess not. I, I would have only needed to go back there like once. They changed the music. This is what I was looking for. Okay. Wait, how did you die back here? Who killed you? Ova saw a black book at the enemy's lair. I bet I could, uh, fish here. I can. I won't, though. Right. I don't know if you saw before, but, um, earlier... Wait, can I not... Ride these? Do I still need the animal bait? I guess so. Oh, this boar is so large, too. Keep me out of this area, right?
Uh, over there. A naive soldier felt the hand of fate in the sunken city. This area is so pretty. Hmm. And even though it's quiet, it's still like, it's very peaceful. Very peaceful, quiet. In some games, it would be like completely just unnerving to not have any music. I know this doesn't work. <laughs> I'm just exploring. Yeah. Nier is definitely um, going to be a game that I like. I'll, I'll just sometimes play it on stream. Um, sort of as a, mm, just a, a, a game to kind of like, just relax with. Uh, there's, um, one of the people that I follow, they do these, um, Legend of Zelda Zatsudan streams, where, um, Zatsu is their, uh, like just chatting streams, basically, where, um, you know, where where the content is more so focused on the um, content creator talking. Oh, I've never opened this. Oh, maybe I have. Um, it's more focused on the content creator. Like, like it, it's supposed to be a, a sort of low stress game type streams. I don't know. I actually don't watch them very often. I just know that people do them. Yeah, I, I, I don't watch them very often. I just know that people do them. I kind of want to go down here. Might be dangerous. Probably will be. Whoa, that did not hit. <laughs> At least if I die down here, I won't have that much to lose. Oops, wrong button. Ooh, ah, that hurt. That one still miss. Oh.
You stuck. Wow, that was hard. That was really hard. It's a good thing I um leveled up. Well, it wasn't hard. It was long. That's for sure. Um, a carefree android saw a machine in love with humans at a fake city. Oh, I know who that is. Well, I know what happened. What happened in that situation? Why does it miss? <laughs> I'm getting those parries a lot, um, a lot easier than I did when I, uh, played, when I played it with mouse and keyboard. Ooh, ouch. go I accidentally changed to my bare fists which don't do as much damage as a weapon Let's see what stuff they got down here impact bracer I imagine it's kind of like a shield I've never I don't use the items never developed the habit of it uh there's a boss over there which is definitely gonna take me like forever if I even try it, but I kind of want to. Um, very interesting boss down here too, with all of these um machine bodies just sitting here. Any area with machine bodies, um, with like a sort of graveyard going on, always an interesting place. Um. Fish down here, too. I wonder what kind of stuff they have down here. That one sees me. Oh, I got the Phoenix dagger. So that's how I got it. It still misses. Okay. We're gonna run. Uh, let's... A beautiful Andrew android enjoyed a tough battle at a city with a gaping hole. We're gonna repair you. Sometimes... The androids that you pick up, they become your enemies. Cool. And I don't know what, I, like, I don't know what the RNG is for it. But we can figure that out later. Just gonna make a run for it. Um. All right, run, run, run. Actually, we should be near the desert. Copper ore. Oh no, I guess not. Maybe if we went a little further down, then we would have ended up at the desert. 
Uh, sounds like a discovery for a later date, though. Oh, no! No! 2B! 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 <laughs> Uh, let's look at the map. Oh, I wonder what that is. Guess we might as well figure it out. These are probably all terminals. Um, and where am I supposed to go? Not over here. That's the factory. This is the resistance camp. Where's the, the deserts over here? All of the map data. I don't have map data for that area. Um, okay, um, time for take two of that. Uh, maybe we'll run past these guys and then see if there's another exit. I don't think they can jump up here. <gasps> they can! Okay, I don't think I can, uh, I don't, I can't get up there. It didn't work. That does, the parry does so much damage. <laughs> so much damage. And I only got it, I only got it like maybe uh, three times, I'll say. Do you think I can defeat those guys over there? Uh, cause those other ones, they were so tedious. They were so tedious. Now that one's gotta hit somebody. They're done. They're resetting. Ooh, I wasn't paying attention. Man, if only I was this. If only. Because with Sekiro. The, the enemies, their attacks are telegraphed just this well. Or not just this well, but very, like... Ooh. In, if I were to measure it in terms of, um... In terms of... Very clearly telegraphed attacks... Um... Yeah, if I were measuring clearly telegraphed attacks, I... If Nier is like a 9, then Sekiro is... Um... Sekiro is like a 7. Like, it's probably not gonna give everything away. But then it would be too easy. But 
but it's pretty pretty clearly telegraphed very clearly telegraphed But I still struggle. Let's get this one before he resets. Honestly, I might be able to uh, defeat everyone down here. I could probably do it. I guess the only- uh, I do have to remember near on about a... Animation cancelling. I can- I can decide at any moment that I do not want to- I no longer want to commit it to an attack. But not- not how it works. I really wanted to open that chest. difference in difficulty like i don't know i've never been so intrigued by it now that i'm thinking and until like now where i'm like thinking about why um you know near what makes near easier than sekiro or more so how sekiro is designed to be harder and i never realized that just a simple thing like the existence of anno animation canceling like I, I didn't ooh ow I didn't I never thought about um how much of an effect that could have on a game's design until just now this near um near near is just so fun to play and they really make you feel like you're this killing machine, you know? Mm, I think I might be able to defeat everything down here. I probably shouldn't go for the boss. Um, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't. If I fall down here again, then I'll think about it. But for now, I think I will not do that hmm. and i guess sekiro also has the ability to make you feel like an unstoppable killing machine it is um very possible um, but only after you've sort of earned that title. If that makes sense. Whereas with, um, with Nier, the title of Unstoppable Killing Machine isn't really something that you have to earn. Or it's not a, it's not a title that you have to earn. You just play the game and then you, that's what you are. An unstoppable killing machine. Oh, 
Ooh, that was not gonna be good. I don't know how I survived that. All right, now we're back up here. Um, and if I'm facing this general direction, see if I can check the map. This is map data that I don't have. Uh, this should be the forest, actually. If I'm remembering correctly, that should all be the forest. I don't have access to it. <laughs> Mm. No, I can't move that. Mm. I think I'll head to the um Well let's get this uh this save point. Let's get the save point first. Does it tell me where it's about to hit so I don't miss? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> finally. Quick save. These ones are so. Combat loving android lost all courage during a pointless battle. I wonder what overclock does. I actually don't remember which one that is. I wonder, there's some enemies that show up uh, over here. Not those two. Over here. I guess not. Yeah. It's also the existence. It's kind of like I I just realized it's kind of like uh, Resident Evil Four. <laughs> Like, it, the difference between, um, games like Nier Automata and, um, Sekiro, I guess. Maybe not, maybe not that, mm, definitely not that similar, but, uh, one of the things that just made me think about it was, um, just now when that enemy was stunned, um, or like they were falling on the ground and, you know, they couldn't get up. I got him. Um, they, they were falling on the ground and they couldn't get up. It reminded me of Resident Evil 4 whenever an enemy is stunned and you can like kick them in the face. Um, and that will knock them down. Um, and after you do that, uh, after you knock them on the ground, you can like do a really quick like melee kill if it's safe and I, I was thinking about the um one of the things that makes resident evil 4 a um 
sort of a more action heavy game compared to some of the other Resident Evil games. And I'm talking, I'm talking from a place of um, someone who has not played Resident Evil. So what do I know? I know what I've heard from video essays. Cause I love watching video essays. Because of my severe um, lack of urgency, not hostile. Cool. Um, like I, I have the, I'm. Yeah, lack of urgency is definitely the way to put it. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm just anytime anything on the map specifically vaguely interests me. Um, like I was like, huh, there's a lot of enemies gathered in this area. I, I could just see it at the corner of my eye. And I was like, oh, I wonder, I wonder what's going on. I wonder what they're like congregating for. And now I'm here. Hmm. If I hit the attack button, then they're gonna... There we go. I don't want to set them off. Yeah, literally anything that like peaks my brain. It, it's it's really um the best way I can describe it is just peak ADHD. <laughs> what it feels like. Like exactly what it, what it it felt like it was being described to me as sometimes as somebody Pointing out that I'll just be like, oh, look, something over there, and then I stop paying attention. It's been a very long time since someone said something like that to me, but it has happened before. Uh, specifically, they would. Uh, I think the example that would get used is um, the dog from Up. Whenever they go like, "Oh, squirrel," you know, they were like, "Oh, that's you. That's just like you for real, for real." Uh, I'm. I play similarly in Breath of the Wild. Um, Except Breath of the Wild gives you way less direction, I guess. Like in, in Breath of the Wild, there isn't really anything you have to do. The um, the game itself doesn't really care how you spend your time. Um, they just give you things to do. Um, at least that's how I see it. That's how I see. Um, that's how I see Breath of the Wild. Um Oh Impact Bracer. Okay. Um I wonder how did you get up there? Oh my god. I really am Okay, what I was originally going to do. Yeah. Mm. Discord notification. Uh, there's a shot. Mm -mm. 
Pretty sure somebody wants to talk to me nearby. Oh, I wonder if I'm close enough for the uh desert music to pop in. この先の岩場で仲間が待ってるからそっちに向かってくれ。ただ、砂漠地帯には補給する場所がない。何か必要だったら、ここで。ああ、マイマイストリームダイ。I Um, it's not even like it died completely. I I don't know. Okay. Uh. Um. What do I want to do? Connecting to the network. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's scary. Um, well, it looks like the stream's back at, um, up and running again. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. I, I don't wanna, um... I don't want to well I I I said I was gonna keep the the stream short today since I have to wake up early tomorrow and with the way that things are looking um might be better for me to go ahead and cut it off now anyways I won't cut it completely but I will go to just chatting and my music back on. Mm. I hope the um I hope today's stream wasn't too like boring or anything. Um since once again it, it is kinda just me, um like I, I'm not really <laughs> since it's a game that I'm already pretty familiar with um it's definitely not like your average playthrough um where I'm like react where someone would be reacting to something for the first time um or where uh like I'm not it's probably still run in the mill for me <laughs> in terms of how like my reactions to things because i i always react to everything the same just it with different um with a different game will warrant um slightly different reaction um ooh, that bit rate's scary <sighs> um but all in all i enjoyed it as per usual. Oh, OBS disconnected too. Oh, OBS, no. It says I'm still recording, but... I just... <laughs> Man, what is going on with the internet? Um... Next, I'm, um... Once again, Nier is definitely going to be a game that I play, uh, sort of when I'm just trying to wind down. Um, but I'll try to fit some other games so that it's not just Nier every single time. <coughs> oh. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh... I'm 
so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I started choking on my own spit. Mm -mm. Uh, stream tomorrow. <laughs> there will be a stream tomorrow. Probably. Um, aiming to play Dead Space. Um, which will be a doozy because we're gonna have to get reused to all of the controls and stuff again. Um, if you missed this one, um, uh, well, actually, the, <laughs> the Twitch is dead. Twitch, Twitch is like completely dead for me right now. Um, so right, so if you're seeing this, you're probably watching it on YouTube. Um, so I'll just say, I, I stream on Twitch. If you're seeing this on YouTube, feel free to check out the YouTube. Um, or not the YouTube, the Twitch. Um, catch me live. And then you can interact with me uh, while I stream game if you'd like to. Um, and then, um, in terms of notifications for when I go live, I, I send them, I tweet out on, um, Twitter for whenever I stream, uh, and I have a, I, I'm live tweet, which if you're seeing it, then I'm live. And then after I shut down for the night, I always delete the tweet. So if you don't see the tweet, then I'm not live anymore. Um, but all of that aside. I hope you had fun. I did, as per usual. Um, it was very nice, very nice, very comfy um, game for me. Uh, thank you for keeping me company. I hope you have a good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>